I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make three different types of really simple clamp storage. In the past you've probably heard me say that I think you can never have too many clamps and here's proof. I have a lot of clamps and in my new shop I needed a way to store them so here are three simple ways that you can store them on the wall. I started out with some scrap 2x4 that I had laying around and I marked four inches on each one of them. Then I marked a halfway point on this four inches and used it to cut a miter on the front of each one of these. Now these are going to be brackets that go on the wall and so the angle doesn't really matter it's just kind of what you want it to look like. Then I cut them all down to length. Then I set the pieces all up next to each other and drew a line across them and then drilled a hole in that line that's perpendicular to the back of the bracket. Then I put pocket holes on the top of each of the brackets to attach it to the wall. Now I'm actually making two different types of brackets, one to hold a piece of wood on top and one to hold a piece of wood on the front. So you want to make sure that when you're drilling the front holes, they go from the right direction, like here. I had some plywood scraps and I cut this piece to length. It happens to be the right thickness for what I needed here, but you could always rip it down if it needed to be. Now if you're going to span too long of a distance, you probably want to add a third bracket in the center. I just pre-drilled some holes in this, screwed it in, and then screwed in the brackets to the wall, right into studs. Now these are good for hanging bar clamps like this where you have kind of a hook and you can hook them over. They're easy to get on and off and it even works for quick clamps found a place for the other two brackets and screwed them in. Now the difference here is that instead of attaching a bar to the front, we're going to attach it across the top of the two brackets. So I measured that length and then marked it on some 1x4. Then I marked where the brackets would sit, and in that span in between them, marked out every inch, or a little bit over an inch, and decided whether each section was going to be cut out or left there for support. To quickly remove a lot of material in the back of each one of these openings, I used a spade bit and the drill press just to knock it out. With that big chunk out of the way, I took it to the bandsaw to knock out the front of each of these openings. Now you could have done the whole thing on the bandsaw, I just at the time for some reason wanted to use the drill press, so I did. And it actually works pretty well for bar clamps because then they have a round opening to sit in. I pre-drilled some holes where they're going to sit on the bracket and screwed them in. The last type of storage was a set of arms that stuck out from the wall that you could hang really anything from. But in this case, I just used some 2x4s for the arms, and they're different lengths because my large wooden clamps there uh, take up a lot more space than the smaller stuff I have. I took a 1x4 and marked out where it was going to connect to the studs to make sure I didn't cover those areas. I laid the 1x4 across the 2x4s that I had laid out on my table and then screwed them in. Now the long one I had to lay it on its back, and screw it into the holes, and it was done. I leveled it on the wall, screwed it into the studs, and then it was all ready to go. There you go, you got three different types um, to hold different types of clamps, and these were quick and dirty, I didn't do a very clean job making them, and they'll probably get replaced at some point, but for right now, they got my clamps off the floor and onto the wall, that's a big thing. Right now, if you don't know, I'm building out my shop. Finally, I have a shop, which is awesome, and this was kind of the first organization project. I have some more coming, and uh, be sure to subscribe, you'll be able to see those when they come out, along with my other project videos that I have in the pipeline. If you'd like to support these videos and the upcoming things I've got going on, be sure to check out Patreon. I just hit my first goal in Patreon, which is awesome, so thank you guys for your support. That first goal was to help me get new lights, which I'm using right now for this video, um, for shooting and for and the ceiling in my shop. And so that was a huge help, and I really appreciate the support that you guys have given me over there. And if you're not supporting me, go check it out. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see some other shop projects that I have coming up that are not videos, be sure to check out IlikeToMakeStuff.com. I've got a couple blog posts coming up there that are going to be about hanging doors, uh, framing walls, some kind of more construction related things like that. So if you're interested, be sure to check those out. And you can see uh, all my projects and all the things that I do on IlikeToMakeStuff.com. Don't forget to go to Facebook and Instagram. Check me out there and have a conversation with me. Show me some stuff that you're working on. See you guys next time.